Welcome to the podcast. Uh, well, as you, I still have some almond butter <laughs> in my teeth. Someone had their snack pre uh, introduction to the podcast. I, ne- I never Normally do it's that after, but I was just like, I can't wait anymore. I'm so hungry. I have to eat, Nikki. Please let me eat, Nikki. Please. Which is what we've done. He can do that anyways. There's no permission needed, and now we're onto the podcast. Listen, Nikki, just by her presence, brings a certain amount of order. <laughs> To this chaos. Not order. We just normally have a schedule anyway. This is how we do things. But I'm glad you know? it worked out for you to have your snack. It was good. Almond butter's good, guys. <laughs> it is. And once Nikki showed me the trick of a lifetime, it's become very practical again. If you like almond butter, but you know how the oil just sits on the top of it? When you put your uh, almond butter back in the fridge, you turn it down. So, so the lid is mm-hmm. down, and that will keep the oil from messing it up. It's perfect. And <laughs> the other thing that you do that I I didn't know this, but like you know how when you get it, you got to stir it up at first. Don't stir it. Mm-mm. Shake it. Mm-hmm. Shake it really hard for just a little while, and all of a sudden, done. And you're you won't have those issues like a lot of people always have. Man, I've learned so much from Nikki. <laughs> she just changed my life. You know, you know what I'm saying? So well, hey, let's see what we can learn about from this show. Uh, today in the podcast, we talk about public speaking, buying vans, phone not wall. shoes, but a van. Yeah, like an actual van. Mm-hmm. Though we do talk about buying shoes. We do. But Crocs. Uh, let's a see. A Croc collab that mm-hmm. might interest you. It might. We talk the Apple 9, the Dream Sickle, the Mighty Ducks, uh, great ways to make money, great ways to get a free hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> That's a possibility. I feel bad for the little creatures in that story because, you know, they're probably just out to get them, but not like bring them back. You know what though? Like they're getting it's they're staying in uptown swanky joints. <laughs> but they only get a couple nights there. Also true. And then they get killed. <laughs> also true. Uh so we talk that a little bit of uh, Oregon talk and Lego builders. Yeah, the Lego show. It's a new show on Fox. Tell your friends or don't. <laughs> actually, I was just curious if anybody had watched it, but thank you to everybody who texted said it actually seems like it's a pretty fun show. So a lot I'll of, try it. A lot of people seem to like it. But if you guys want to text too, if you have any thoughts about anything from the podcast today or if you want to say hello or if you want to send us a story all you do is you just text us 877 radio you and then put your a podcast listener and your name and then when we're in the studio next time for the next show we will text you back sounds great enjoy the podcast today Bye, y'all. Bye. they even make morning people want to reach for the snooze button it's the worst of the riot on radio you Guys, I I might be going completely insane. So I just want you to know when you guys hear in the news this story about a man that was found <laughs> wandering downtown mumbling to himself. It might just be you. <laughs> yeah. I got a public speaking thing this weekend and I've been trying to put it together. It is like a nut that I can't crack, a problem I can't solve. Like, I mean, I have, I should show you my notes. There are millions of pages typed written i'm like that guy where you walk in his room and it's, it's all like on the walls. it's all on the walls <laughs> oh, and no. he's just like no let me explain it to you i, I got it so let, let's just ask when you look at it do any sections like highlight you know like turn gold on the notes as you try to analyze all of them like they do in the shows oh yeah oh no for sure <laughs> For sure. I've got it all figured out. Are we overworking it when you'll be just fine? You You always do a great job. You know what I wish? I feel like I'm killing myself trying to figure it out. I feel like if you would just hand me a microphone right now, I'm ready. You're ready. I will talk you through this. Otherwise, in note form, you're trying to crack this code that's not even a code. I can't get it. Oh, no. I woke up really early this morning, and I was like, I'm going to the gym. But I got in my car, and I was like, no. We go in and we make the coffee and we start working on it. We can get some work done. I've been here for hours. Oh, no. And I can't. I still can't get it. Well, um, I'm going to. I will. Maybe if you go to the gym, you'll get more clarity that you are probably just fine. I probably should have done that first. Mm -hmm. But I'm still in my gym clothes. But I want you to know I've brushed my teeth and And shaved. And you showered. You're still good. I'm clean. (laughs) Unlike yesterday, I might not look it. I may have a crazed look in my eye, but I'm sane. (laughs) I would like to go to the gym and then you're in there, and you but you brought out like a dry erase board. You're trying to work while you're working out. (laughs) 
That might not be a bad idea. And you could still, you know, get your workout done while you're trying to figure this all out. Take my journal in there. Oh, no. And <laughs> like, what is that guy doing? Don't talk to him. He's just uh, journaling his workout. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, yeah, there's people wandering around there with that. clipboards all the time. I can do whatever I... I'm fine. Well, I'm, I'm sure you're okay. And I'm sure you're already ready. You just maybe don't... It just hasn't clicked yet. I can't get it out. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. So you want more coffee then? Can we get you some more? We'll get some more coffee and I'm going to have to abandon it because it's the show now. <laughs> so Think about in, it later. Worry about it later. In some ways, what a sweet relief the riot is, right? <laughs> So, of course, you can turn your brain off from that. Let's all goof around for a while. The riot is to your ears what all those energy drinks are to your liver. For the love of God, please stop. I can only process so much. The riot. Radio U. Well, Nikki, I found the future. And the future is in? Our future. Uh huh. Together. What are we doing? It's being together. Yeah. It's going places together. Okay. It's together. I'm talking about our new van. We're getting a van? $3,900. Uh huh. Little bit of retrofitting. Put a little studio for two right sure. in the back. And I don't mean apartment. I mean a place where we can do this show. Yeah, okay. So we could take this show on the road. And you and I are going to just travel the United States doing the show from various locations. I feel like you go back a few years, that would have been super like special and unique. But now a lot of people choose to live that sort of traveling lifestyle to where uh, it doesn't seem as scary, like maybe back in the day. Like, yeah, you could do it. I don't think there are as many people doing this as we think there are. I think They're just noisier? <laughs> I think there are three people doing this. <laughs> way more than that okay 30 and (laughs) (laughs) they've got pictures and whatever Uh but in reality what are they doing well i think they're just all on the coast so they're just near water so you just got to be stay close to that how come you're not traveling through the midwest in winter doesn't that sound fun here show everybody you walking in your uh you know your beach bum lifestyle here in the middle of nowhere where you're freezing so there it might be different to see someone who does have this traveling style yeah okay so should we i mean what do you think uh i used to think oh that might be interesting but i don't i don't i like more space just a little bit more space Uh, you know what the only thing i'll say is like and okay i i realize this is the wrong way to say this but when i look at their pictures Mm -hmm. i feel like they're living and when i look at myself in the mirror i don't look like this well they've made a brand Okay. over themselves like so they have to have that style with it and we've mm-hmm. we've talked many times before what you see online doesn't mean that's an accurate representation of how it is to actually drive on the road all the time Mickey, they seem so happy. i know they seem beautiful put together so with happy. A, a gorgeous modern you know way of living uh-huh. probably mm-hmm. not many bills and i'm sure they make a lot of money from their pictures oh yeah totally yeah <laughs> i'm sure it's great so I don't know. If you actually look online too, like go on YouTube, there's tons of people that used to live that lifestyle that are now in apartments and houses. And it's funny to watch their videos because they're just like, oh my gosh. (laughs) They're happy to be in one place. But Nikki, we've got a mobile studio Mm -hmm. and you and I are out there and it's like, hey, are you listening from Central Oregon today? Meet Nikki and I at the Multnomah Pass. See, that actually would be fun as long as we were still doing the show. That yeah, would be yeah, neat. Yeah. yeah, we're doing the... No, if it's just you and me, like, together... And the show's gone? <laughs> I think I'd give us three days. <laughs> I don't know if we would. And you know what? I know what you guys think. You think that I'd be the one to flake out, but I think Nikki's the one on the phone that's like, Eric, I need a bus ticket <laughs> please, right now. Please come get me. I, I'm not going. I can't do this anymore. It's been three days. All right. We, it won't stop. It's been three days. We've taken one picture, and I don't I even think it looks it. that good. So, Well, just uh, bookmark that and save it for a possibility for the future. All right. Well, they. I don't know how much they spent converting the van, but the van only cost them $3,900. They did great, the, re- they did the renovations all themselves. I think that would be a bigger story of us making the van and getting it ready to go out. Yeah. And then we should surprise everybody by donating it <laughs> at the end. 
Well, you know, we, we were about to the- we were about to leave on this trip where we we're going to broadcast from the road for a year, and then we saw that we could get a tax write off by donating it to <laughs> Volunteers of America. No, it's one of us has this vlog where we're crying, saying we just can't, we can't go out on the road. I get car sickness. I can't. Well, we'll let you drive, and well, I'll just that, sleep that, in the back. Yeah, that's how that would be. One day, a heroic time traveler will go back in time to make sure none of this ever happens. Until then, it's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Hey, Nikki, talk to me about your phone, because mm-hmm. you know I'm an iPhone person now. He switched um, from Android to iPhone. What, uh, what do you do for wallpaper on your phone? Um, I just use one of the... No, I just use a picture. Do you put a picture of a friend, family, or loved one on there? I do, yeah. I can't do it. Why not? I keep trying to. I find you haven't it, found the right one yet? Well, I find it distracting and almost a, a little like... I don't, I real, I guys, I know this is dumb, but I'm just being real with you. There's something unnerving about it. Like I turn my phone on and there they are looking at me. Well, like do you I have was, the, okay. the one display thing set to where it, it tracks with you? No. That might be why. But like I was, uh, let's say I had occasion to, uh, be alone yesterday, uh, in a, a bath room sure. of sorts. And so I took my phone with me like you do and I turned it on and it was just like, there they are staring at me. And what is really... Just because your just, screen is brighter. This is just, <laughs> this is just, this is just my time. And I don't What'd like... What you have on your last phone? <laughs> Why is this a thing? I'm like, I don't like you looking at me right not now. not there. I know they're not, but there's something weirdly unnerving about their face staring out at me. And I was just like, can't. What did you have on your last phone? Nothing. Like, Just a uh, blank screen. Yeah, I mean, like my i my uh, my tablet is like Godzilla and some friends. <laughs> And, then, and that doesn't bother you? No, that's fine. Why don't you just pick that same backdrop for this? Well, I think I might have to. But I thought, I was like, man, I'm taking these great pictures. I've got really good pictures of friends. And, like, I could put that on there. And there they are looking out at me. And I'm like, well, this is awkward. <laughs> Here I am in the bathroom. You're all looking at me. Just go with Godzilla, then. I'm not kidding. He's I'd- comfortable. He won't bother you. You think it'll be fine? I think it'll be okay. Okay, because I ended up having to switch back to just one of the generic backgrounds. Because I was like, I I can't. I can't handle look at you anymore. I turn my phone on, and there you are, like. Well, you can change your home screen to something else, and then your backdrop would be something else. Your background, right? You can do like the lock screen and the home screen. Yeah. Maybe I could do that. It's still unnerving. Just I turn go my, with Godzilla. I turn it's my phone fine. on, and they're go just staring Godzilla. at me. <laughs> I'm just like, Ugh. it'll make you happier. Just go with that. Okay. Find a new picture and save it there. Is it okay? It's all right to be honest. Is it weird that it's a problem? Uh, I get what you're saying. It's not weird. Too weird. It's just, wow, it, that's a, that that's something. It's we fine. all have our little things. <laughs> we you all have what? our quirks. I'll tell you what. It makes you special. Things are never as bad as they seem, except when it comes to the riot. Then they're worse. They're always worse. It's the riot on Radio U. You have to ask yourself sometimes, is it worth it to get the free stuff? And you're like, <laughs> you're like, oh, you mean like carry that card around and get the free stamps? Like if this I get is next level. if I get six stamps, I get a free one. Man. Well, you're carrying something around. You are, but you're not supposed to stamp something like this. Ryan State, 37 years old. They say, or he's currently stands accused. Uh huh. Of pulling what they're calling a scam, which I'm going to refer to as a a plan. So these have been at two or three hotels in Utah. So here's what he does. So he goes and he spends a a night or two. um, And then he goes ahead and leaves uh, a couple of hamsters. He, they say hamsters. He sets them loose in the room. Mm -hmm. Then they chew up the room. They do, uh, you know, what what animals do well, on yes. the floor. Yes. <laughs> and then he complains to management. It's just like... About rodents. You guys put me in a rat room? I'm in a rat room right now? So then he'll go to the hotel and they'll, you know, they'll comp the room nights and stuff. But uh-huh. the hotels there had been noticing this is his thing. And so he got caught. He definitely got caught. So the rodents caused severe damages to rooms and hotels had to pay for pest control. Uh, that's like the worst for a hotel, especially if they just kept going to different rooms. Yeah. 
Uh, so I don't know if he would take the hamsters with him when he finally would leave, or would they just stay there? See, I here's I put way too much thought into this last night because I'm like, okay, so are these that, his friends? Like, are these his little little hamster friends? Well, you got to think about it. Like, all right, uh, is he going and buying like two new hamsters for every time that he spends the night? Maybe, maybe. But I feel like the smart play is you go ahead and get yourself a couple of hamsters, you put them in your bag. Uh, and then, now they can't stay in there for very long, but you just load them in real quick. You get up to the room, then you set them out, and you should be fine. Now, they were saying he used hamsters, but then also mice. Yeah, I I actually wondered about the hamsters, because I just feel like hamsters, I don't know. If you saw a hamster, would you, you wouldn't be scared of it. You'd be like, it's a hamster. I don't know if I know the difference from afar. A, okay. And it probably makes the same damage, and they wouldn't know based on the damage. Like, I'm sorry, sir, this looks like a hamster. <laughs> I did this, not a mouse. <laughs> okay, that's fair. So it's all the same. That's fair. Plus, I would feel more comfortable if I let hamsters out in the room. Meaning? Concerning the mice. Well, I would, too. I mean, just knowing that it's a hamster. It's the same thing, but... <laughs> but it's not. It's not. <laughs> I feel, it, but, sir, it's a hamster. Well, I feel better. Yeah, it's not so so bad. I so feel he better was, about it. Uh, scamming multiple hotels. He got arrested last month. He faces two charges of theft by deception, three counts of criminal mischief, and human health or safety issues. Yeah. Well... Is it worth it? <laughs> so if you are in the Utah area and you're work you you're with a hotel, they, they were asking, yeah, they want to see if there's any others because he's done this before. Would you be willing to consider mm-hmm. something like this to get a free night in a hotel? I don't know. I mean, doesn't he have a place to stay, or is this like how you make your vacation happen? I'm not sure. Not like that. <laughs> like, just... what's the, I need more details on what, what, and why is he doing this? Oh yeah. Like, is this how he lives from hotel to hotel? Well, I'll tell you. I stayed at a hotel a couple of years ago, and I walked in, and there was shattered glass all over the floor, and all I got out of it was free breakfast. I mean, we've been to some places. <laughs> We have been, and that should have been free, and we didn't even need to bring anything with us. I mean, did I take him up on the free breakfast? Yes, I did. <laughs> but I didn't get a free night out of it. I feel like you're rolling the dice with this thing. He must know how to, to go after them to be upset. He he has this whole thing down. Then you have to ask yourself another question. You have to spend the night in a chewed up poopy room from your hamster. Well, like, no, they wouldn't let. I mean, he would do it at the end when he was ready to leave and then get comped for the days that he was there. I, I need more details. Maybe they'd stay in a little uh, hamster home until he was ready to go. And then, then he, he let him out. Well, sets him loose for two or three hours and then... Let him do damage and then bring people up to see. I don't know. Can we get this guy on the phone? I, I need to talk <laughs> through questions. some details. <laughs> but I still think, you know, hey, free hotel! <laughs> if not, like we said, there's plenty of hotels that already have this feature. And you didn't even need to bring any rodents. They're already there. They're going to be like, sir, honestly, uh, this room looks better than most of our other yeah. ones. <laughs> Obadiah and Nikki tried their hardest. And that's what really matters. This is the worst of the Ryan podcast. Nikki, where are you on the Mighty Ducks? The Mighty Ducks? Did you ever see that? Um, I feel like I saw one, but I think there was more than one, wasn't there? So I don't know. Yeah. Wasn't uh, it a hockey movie? It's a hockey movie. I've never seen it. Is it on Disney Plus? Maybe. Um... <laughs> Because I know it's coming back, even though, you know, all this older stuff. You're like, I didn't even know what it was in the first place. Can we get on Disney Plus? Oh, boy. I don't even know how to look at it. Oh, yeah, I'll look for you. Okay. Do I have it on my phone? You should. I don't think I've put it on my phone, actually. He he went back. He canceled it, and then he went back. Yeah, I'm back on. And you know what? Don't ask me about it, okay? (laughs) It's... (laughs) It's complicated. All right. Just, it's fine. It's no you know problem. What? Here's what it comes down to. I am the provider for too many people. And I don't mean like well, the you... breadwinner. No. I mean like <laughs> the guy that provides the password. That way other friends can use said account for a while. All right. Well, here I am signed in. Let's see. Mighty Ducks. Because they are. It's coming it back. Mighty Ducks. So there's a one, a two, and a three. Three. What about the, did you know that, yep, there it is. I was going to say, did you know there was an animated series? Oh, there's an animated one, too. How many are there things? So you got three movies and an, wow. And an animated show. The animated show looks interesting. <laughs> looks like, 
it has an older style of animation. Uh, let's see. When the sinister Dragonus takes over Puck World, a band of hockey-loving ducks fight back. I don't think that's what the movies were about. I don't know. <laughs> but it seems like they're, Disney Plus is bringing a lot of older stuff back out and yeah. remaking it. Um, I didn't catch if this was going to be for a show or if it's going to be for a movie. It says here uh, we're going to have, I I mean, unless I'm missing this. It makes sense uh, if they would make a, a TV show, uh, they're like gonna, episodes. They're going to make a TV show. Okay. Yeah, and they're bringing back uh, Emilio Estevez, who was the coach. Yes, and then if you watch Gilmore Girls, the mom from Gilmore Girls, she's going to be in this show, too. Yeah, can't get any more Gilmore Girls, though, huh? <laughs> Apparently we're busy. Well, we're busy filming this. Where was the ending for that? <laughs> here's what, here. It is an interesting question. Like Disney is kind of doing what Netflix was doing for a while, which was like kind of digging up old shows to see if they could get a hit. I mean, now they're you, just digging up and just remaking left and right. But that's Disney. They're doing Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, mm. The Mighty Ducks. Isn't there more? The Lizzie McGuire one was being worked on, but now it's like on hold. Right. Then they had uh, the the Clone Wars. I see where the, that final season of that starts next week. I mean, that's not as far back of a reach as some of this other stuff is, but they're just like, what do we have in the closet? Bring it all out. Bring it all out. Let's redo it. And what's the, Emilio Estevez? Does he even make things anymore? Well, no, I think, no, I, I don't think he he does as much. Yeah. So, but I mean. Maybe you don't have to. <laughs> Maybe some people are like, I, I made enough. I don't have to. No, he's coming back. Yeah, he will be in this. So, so I think he's going to be like, the Mighty Ducks will be the popular team, I think. And then the uh, the mom from Gilmore Girls, yeah. she's going to be the mom of, of a kid who gets kicked off that team and goes and starts another one. So they're, gonna, the like, co- they're going the Cobra Kai route? I think that's what it's supposed to be. I think. It might change, but I, I think that was the, the premise of it. Hmm. So if okay. you like uh, that stuff, there's what, something Nikki, coming. I don't feel like the Mighty Ducks could ever be a villain in my story. You don't think so? They, I don't they think turn so. that way, maybe. <laughs> my, but I'm sure at the end they'll find their way. Their way on, back to. Yeah, just all working together. What does it mean to be a duck? Search your heart. <laughs> Uncomfortable silences during that morning carpool? Not a problem. These two never shut up. It's the riot, the riot on Radio on U. U. Man, if you guys don't know, listen up. Nikki loves Crocs. I don't. I've never had a pair, but what if they're amazing? Like, why would they still be around and still be popular? I can tell you right now that I have several friends that swear by them. So why haven't we tried them? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I can't bear the weight of your disdain. (laughs) Maybe I would like them, too. I couldn't possibly come in this room wearing Crocs. (laughs) And not say something about it. Nikki would... If not laugh me out of the room, she'd shame me out of the room for sure. I would not. This is fine. Like the time I wore my red shorts to the gym and Eric was like, you look like Santa Claus. I didn't say that. That wasn't me. Why are you combining us together? You guys are joined. You're one. I'm supported. I love your red shoes. Your red shoes are a bold fashion statement. I think they're nice. See, I don't, are they really? Well, no, they're just a bolder shoe, but they look good. All right. Well, you know. I used to not like Crocs, but then now they put like pins in them and you can collect those. Oh, that's and, always been a thing. Yeah, and I didn't even know that. So I maybe one day we'll try them on, but I, I've never bought them before. I've never worn them. You know that Joker meme? Not sure if serious. Where I'm at right now. <laughs> you can't tell. Like, are you? No, I, I wonder why are they so popular? You know what? What? Somebody's birthday is coming up. Tomorrow? <laughs> do you? <laughs> do I want a pair of Crocs? Do you want some Crocs? Well, is there anything birthday? else besides the Croc? Like, don't they have other styles? What if, okay, what if for your birthday, you and I go shoe shopping, <laughs> Riot Skips Work video, uh-huh. we get Nikki her first pair of Crocs. What do you guys think? Would you guys want to watch that? They would so watch that, Nikki. I, I don't know. But this is, we said, a brand collab. So we've only mentioned one brand. Yeah. There's Crocs, and then there's our other great love, What's... Kentucky Fried Chicken. What are they doing? They're getting a chicken, K- chicken Crocs? <laughs> KFC Crocs. Are they just uh, branded with it? Have you looked at the pictures of them? I'm pulling They're it up t- now. Oh, those are something, aren't they? They are Woo! terrifying. It looks like camo, but it's really just pictures of fried chicken. Yeah, it is. And, then and the bottom, the sole looks like uh, the bucket mm-hmm. from KFC. So you can get these what appear to be like clogs or a more standard size and 
those little collectible jewel things that you uh, put in. The gibbets? Yeah, those can look like uh, KFC wings. Whoa. This Ooh. isn't what I'll get first. Ooh. Those are something. They say they also smell like KFC. They do? Which, in fairness, if you take your Crocs to KFC, they will. they're going to smell like KFC. They will smell like that. Just like, like all of you will when you leave. That could be fun. You have to have a really fun fashion style. You know, side to you to be able to pull these off. Sixty dollars. Oh, that's not bad at all. I thought it'd be way worse to buy what? them. What? Well, sixty dollars for Crocs, Nikki. No, They're but Crocs. these are these are collabs. These are different, and I thought these would be in the hundreds. <laughs> so what you're saying is you'd pay hundreds. Oh. <laughs> I would love to see you walking around in KFC. Crocs. You want me to see those? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sure. So Mike says, good morning. Uh, Crocs are popular because people are lazy and use them for everyday shoe. Oh, like you had to insult people, didn't you? you? Had to go there, right? It had to be like, because people are lazy. I don't know. I hear that they're very comfortable. I'm not buying a pair because of everything Nikki has said across the years. <laughs> I can't wear Crocs. Afraid. Well, if they have one that looks like, because uh, I usually wear slide or uh, flip flop. If there's something along those lines, then maybe. Nikki's in. Well, if I'm in, then you're in. We'd have to get this. We'd have to get the same. No, yeah, I'm we not would. In. No, I'm out. I can't, Nikki, because I would know that it was an elaborate trap, and you were just going to be making fun of me after I put them on. I'm just trying to get you. You put yours on first. I'm trying to get you to get them, and I'm not even going. To. <laughs> I'm going to leave you when we you check out. Crocs. <laughs> I'm not going to even buy them. No, I want the little chicken charm. <laughs> That's what I want. I want those things. Oh. Using advanced technology, we've digitized and transcoded Obadiah and Nikki into a purely digital format. This is the Worst of the Riot podcast. Well, over the weekend, I finally did it. I took so many of your recommendations and I got myself some of that rain orange dreamsicle. <laughs> You're in. A lot of people, and when we talked about it, it was sometime last week. And I don't remember why exactly. I think uh, we but, were talking about some other energy drink, and then right. we're always like, "Yeah, but everybody always wants rain." Yeah, and everybody always tells me the dream sickle, the dream sickle. It's like a dream sickle. Oh, you just can't say no to it. <laughs> you know what? It it was pretty good. Yeah, it was almost sickly sweet well yeah that's uh, gonna happen i actually thought it was it was decent uh randall says where do you find it you know i just picked it up at a duke and duchess station did you i did stopped on in and met the duchess <laughs> and i was like you know can you talk to me about what it's like to rain as a duchess <laughs> and, and point me to the direction of the drinks yeah and you know nikki if i had been willing to purchase two of them i could have 500 bonus points Ooh, is that what they do at the duke and it's, duchess what am i gonna do with those points I don't know. Well, you buy more. It's it's supposed to get you into the cycle. You get more rain? Yeah, you get trapped in it. Oh, I'm going to rain, Nikki. Uh, you know what? I thought it was good. And so this would be, I've tried, now I've tried rain and I've done, I thought it you was. You like Bang? I thought Bang was the stuff I had that was the uh, cotton candy. Mm -hmm. But that was actually a rock star because I was looking for it and it was a rock star cotton candy. It probably tastes but the it, same. But it's like their rock star ripoff of Bang and Rain because instead of it being like, we'll keep you playing video games all night, now they're like, we'll keep you in the gym till the early morning light. <laughs> it's the same stuff, it's just different packaging. Well, yeah, but I mean, it, you know, this one had more amino acids oh, and things like that. To help you so. with your recovery, with your workout. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, I, I had a big workout. Big one. You did, yeah. It's a big none one. of us, outside of a few of you guys, which I know do lift, outside of that, none of us are really actually working out enough to where we need a pre-workout <laughs> or anything after. Mm. <laughs> I just don't know. What about an orange dreamsicle pre-workout? So, I don't know. I just want you to know that I had it. It was good. And, <laughs> I, you know, energy drinks, you might as well be buying, like, alcohol. It's <laughs> so expensive. It no, I think it's more expensive. It was $3. It's more expensive. For that orange dream cycle. And I, there was part of me that was just like, what am I doing? Well, I, I, I don't think, I don't know if Costco carries it anymore, but remember they had the... The party pack of it. Yeah. Oh, did And it was they? like 35 bucks. Well, here on Amazon, I can get a 12 pack for $26. It's about right. So that's like, what, two twenty five a can That's why you need like that. those points you were getting at the Duke and Duchess place. 
you need a loyalty program to be able to afford those things. This says, and this is their wording, not mine, that it's the ultimate. Ultimate. That means the bet. Ultimate is the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. The ultimate fitness focused (laughs) beverage. So are we still going to drink these or what are you doing? Oh, man, like I'm going to get one later. Well, now the rain is so popular. Now you need to find the next one. You know, you can never do the one that's currently it. You got to go somewhere else. You're not lying, Nikki. It's time for us to find the next. So what's the next one? And what are they offering? Um, (sighs) Chocolate frosted sugar bombs flavored. (laughs) If you want one of those, they do say a good chocolate milk is a great recovery drink. Great recovery drink. When you're working out, you're like, great recovery. I have a cotton candy pre-workout and a chocolate milk post. (laughs) And you wonder why we're doing so well. (laughs) Jerome says, remember, they have a happy hour for alcohol. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and, and they have it at Sonic, too. Two to Not, four, you can get a round 44 for half price. I know, and you can add, you know, Red Bull has the Sonic thing, so you can technically get all that. Mm, I need a I need a dreamsicle happy hour. Come all right, on. Well, uh, Somebody can tell me where I can find that. Is is it a problem, or are we okay? Like the drink? I just had one. You I just you had know one. What? I just wanted, it was like the everybody kept baggie. saying to me. You had the first one? Oh, I love a baggie. Mm. Do you have any baggies? <laughs> if you start like freezing it, uh, smashing it up and snorting it, then I know we have a problem. I already have a problem. I'm hoping <laughs> this was the solution. That's why I wasn't sure if we needed to add this to it. If you're like, oh, do I need more or is this enough? You know what, Nikki? Don't, don't you worry about it. I'm doing great. Actually, I love your text. Try a pre-workout called Lit. Uh, I black out sometimes while working out. <laughs> yes. Yay. Oh, that got it. That... I'm not worrying anybody. No one worry. <laughs> no one that worry. That got a full-on face palm yeah, out of me. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Everybody's doing fine, and we're not having too much. <laughs> We're just okay. I, I do notice that there's a big push for, the, for you to buy two. You can't, like, if you buy two, they're five. It's five dollars. <laughs> they know they got you. And none of us want to go to the doctor to get this all looked at. I gave during the last fundraiser, and all I got was this crappy morning show. This is the riot. Unlistener supported radio. You what? What? Does it bother anybody else that Apple was like we had an iPhone eight and an iPhone ten? And they skipped the nine? No, because seven, eight, nine. Did so you know? you had to go past no. it. Did you know that the rumor, uh-huh. that the rumor of the announcement that's coming this spring from Apple is that they're going to introduce a new low-cost iPhone, you know, for the rest of us. <laughs> and that it's going it's to be. It's going to be nine. No. That's the rumor. No. Nine means no. It's not going to. <laughs> it's the Apple Nine. <laughs> it's the because no Because it could never be inexpensive. You can never have. I know that's the joke with it. You'll never get an inexpensive phone. <laughs> nine. They fooled you. <laughs> no, nine is zero, which means low cost. So this was zero the phone. percent financing. They were actually supposed to have a presentation of uh-huh. a new phone, the lower cost one that was supposed to be this month. Right. But with the virus and all that stuff that's been going on, uh, the production of that hasn't been able to happen or they're just not at a point where they're talking about it yet. So it's been pushed back. So you're saying you don't think the Apple 9 is real or the iPhone 9 is real? I don't know if they'll call it that. It kind of makes sense to me because right now, if you go to an Apple store, you can buy the iPhone 8 and you can buy the iPhone 11. Mm-hmm. You cannot buy an iPhone 10. They do not make that phone anymore, They, but they still make iPhone 8s or they made so many that they're still I selling know that them. I they still have it. What? I don't know. <laughs> But if they would come along and say, like, hey, now we're going to sell the iPhone 9, and you can buy the 9 and the 11S, which mm-hmm. we know is coming, mm-hmm. then... That, all I know is I can't even remember what we have, so they need to just come up with a better naming system. Okay. Kind of done with the numbers. You know what? I got the X. Oh, yeah. You got the 10. X. The 10. It's for me. It's so weird. This will be like the first Apple season where you got one now. Yeah, but I, it, I the thing about it is like to, I'm not looking for another one. That's what you um, say. No, that's, I'm, that's what you say. Probably at some point, I guess. But even then, I'll just be like, so now that the iPhone 12 is out, who wants to sell me an 11? 11, you're always the previous model. <laughs> like, I'm too back from that. <laughs> Side note, though, I'll tell you, like with this iPhone X that I have. Um, Why the, you call it? Don't just instigate. The photos yeah. are unbelievable. 
I can't believe how good the camera is. It's so ridiculous. I took a photo the other day and I showed somebody and they were just like, well, uh, you have to excuse him. I mean, he had a, a lower cost Android. Oh, a cheapy. And the the part that always ends up if you have a lower cost phone. And a crappy camera. Right? It's always the camera that's going to be usually hit the hardest. So this is all new. <laughs> oh, I'm blown away by He's all it. excited by it. The, when you guys were excited four years ago about how good the <laughs> pictures were, that's where now I'm at right now. you're on board. That's where I'm at iPhone 9, And Nikki. it's so fun to watch. I want the iPhone 9 to be real. <laughs> Maybe it'll happen. If you're looking for all the funny moments you missed during the riot, we apologize. You won't find them here. There, there weren't any. This is the worst of the riot podcast. I know. We talked about phones a lot. I bought one. Everybody's like, it's so funny hearing you because you're like iPhone X and now you have an iPhone. And so you're like, I'm like, yeah, I'm a hypocrite. Thanks. I did it. You don't even know. It's fine. It's not. It's not a problem. It is for some people. And I don't even think anybody's thinking negative things about it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call 911. (laughs) I'm going to call the cops on you. Just like Saloni did. Nikki, Saloni lives with her parents. Uh, and is on her parents' cell phone plan. Uh-huh. And I can tell you, <laughs> as someone that has tried desperately to save money on a cell phone plan... If you could get back on one? <laughs> I'm open to all the options. You just don't realize you shouldn't be just throwing that away and wanting to be on your own plan. You're like... And just to be clear, I don't even know why we move out in the first place. I mean, think about it. It's rent-free. Maybe you can Maybe you give your parents some money to help with the rent. But I mean, like, <laughs> it's, it's not nothing the same amount. compared to actual rent. You know, in other countries, it is more common. You would stay in your house for a lot longer. We should do that. Well, Saloni, she, uh, this was back last week, February 13th, day before Valentine's Day. She's quite distraught because her parents cut her off. What they do? They canceled her cell phone. Uh oh. So she had no cell phone. So she did what? I recommended me doing as you all persecute me for my hypocriteness, and that is call 911. And what are they supposed to do? Well, she called 911 and said, Hey, my parents shut off my cell phone. And how old is she? We'll get to that. Okay, because I feel like I need to know the number. Okay, so she, she did that. Is this like the Lego guy from a couple of years ago? And she's like in her 40s or something. Oh my god! Do you remember the Lego guy? That's right. Because <laughs> that was an older kicked, guy. Kicked the Lego guy out. He was unemployed, but he had like twenty thousand dollars for the Legos or and whatever. He, he had to call the cops because he couldn't get his Legos or something. Yeah. And everybody was always mad, but they just wanted him out. Oh my gosh, Nikki! These two have got they got a to date. get together. <laughs> She's thirty six. Oh. No, why are you doing that at 36? And I know what you're thinking. You think like, no, but it's not funny. There's probably a me- No, she's fine. She's fine? She she's shouldn't fine. be doing this? She's just mad that her parents cut killed her, her. off. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You know that it's never just getting cut off. There's always lots of notice beforehand. So? Oh, yeah. Your you parents so? are like that. You don't think they weren't like, this is my house. These are my rules. This is my cell phone plan. Well, just meaning there must have been conflict about it leading up to that point. But, Dad. If you're saying that and you're, you're 36, you should have been prepared to be on your own plan at that point. Or you get a group of friends. Gosh. You find another family. Like, just do something else. Give them peace and get off their plan. So she called the police four times. Aww. The first three times they gave her a warning. They're like, hey. Stop calling. You can't call 911 on your parents about your cell phone. And she was like. I can too. Beep, beep, beep. (laughs) It's me again. So, all right. Well, then it feels like maybe she has a listening problem. You think so? (laughs) Maybe that also worked towards why she can't have the phone anymore. That might be. That might be. When you learn to listen to your mother and I, you can have your phone back. You can back. have your phone turned back on again. Man. Well, you know if what? You want back on your parent stuff. You got to be nice. You got to You, you got to help out. You have to make it seem like it's their idea. Yeah. You're like, yeah. This you know, is not doing really it right. having a hard time getting my phone. Right. Well, you could come back on your dad and I's plan. It's fine. Oh, I couldn't oh, do I could, that. I don't want to bother you guys. I couldn't do that. That's ridiculous. But here's my phone and my IEM number and... <laughs> Let's get it going. Can we go now? If that works for you. I mean, if you just want to swing by and pick me up, 
Or you know what? I could just take the car. And then you know what we do? We clean up after ourselves a bit. We don't make any waves if you're still back at home. You just be okay. All right? So then you, you can get your phone. You could. <laughs> this, she's not doing it right. Hey, so what do you think of Obadiah? Well, the truth is, he's not a very nice person. Okay, well, what about Nikki? The very best day is. You're listening to The Riot on Radio U. Boy, you know, Nikki and I have just found yet another terrible example online of, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a lot of money in religion. There is money to be made. I could charge you for stuff and be like, oh, listen, I know that uh, lately you've been feeling down. <laughs> And, uh, but what Try that this. is, I don't know if you know this, but that's uh atmospheric blockage. All right. That's coming from the spiritual realm. Dude, you could totally sell all that and stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the atmospheric blockage spiritually uh, out of what's in your life right now. I'm going to clear it out. Now, all you got to do is he's pointing. You can't see that, but he's doing the finger. I'm point using at all fingers, all fingers like, pointing it's not at a you. single finger. It's a five finger point he's right there with my thumb. It's like, it. you know. And uh, I can tell you, and then I'll bring on my expert, Nikki, who's going to tell me about this new solution that they have mm-hmm. to atmospheric clogging in the spiritual realm. You're right. And It'll be a blessing in your life. It's going to be huge. See, we can all do this. <laughs> people, you know what? It's so sad because the uh, world is full of hurting people. And they all want a very quick cure-all. We do. Can I just tell you right now that just because there are a bunch of people that are full of crap that are making money off your pain doesn't mean there is no real solution. I want you to know that God is real and God loves you and he doesn't need any money. Excuse me, what? I know that is not a great way for me personally to get rich because one of the great things I should do is be like, I want you to have a real relationship with God, which is why I'm only charging forty nine ninety five. Okay. Not like those other guys who are charging, charging 150. Okay. <laughs> I am I am cutting out the middleman to get God factory direct to you. <laughs> right? Wrong. You actually don't even need me. What you and I need is Jesus. Jesus did everything. He took care of everything we need. You don't need to buy anything. We're not trying to sell you anything. You can have a relationship with God, period. Everything that you need has already been taken care of by Jesus. So you can have a real relationship with God. The world is full of hypocrites and cheaters and liars and all kinds of stuff. And when you start asking questions about God, you're going to, some of them are going to come right at you for your money. But listen, God doesn't need your money. He doesn't need anything. He loves you. You can have a relationship with him, period. And you can do it right now. You can just say, Jesus, I want that. I want the real thing. I want you. I want you in my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. I want to have a relationship with you. And you know what? Spend some time today talking to God about stuff. And those people that are trying to sell you the thing on the whatever, just pass. Just pass. (laughs) Keep on going by. Because you know what? You've got a real relationship with God. You don't need the crazy stuff. This is the worst of the riot on Radio U. Are you a male of Irish descent? Are you a woman of German descent? I have very bad news for you. This was not well received when this came out. You're the ugliest. That is what a <laughs> study says or a no. survey says okay. or a what? It's this. There is a website that is a dating website called mm-hmm. beautifulpeople.com. And basically, there's a group of people that will decide whether or not you're beautiful enough to be on beautifulpeople.com. They reject, I bo- no, let me rephrase this. They accept, I believe, one in five people. Ooh, so not not the best chances. So, I mean, like, they are not screwing around. <laughs> you really have to meet their qualifications. You do. But I'll tell you this right now, that uh, here, okay, as far as nationalities go, let me give you the top five nations for beautiful people. Uh, for women, it would be at number five, Argentina. Number four, Brazil. Number three, Iceland. All right. Number two, Sweden. And number one, Norway. It's those Nordic people that are so good looking. Apparently. What's, and here we go. At least With, according to this. <laughs> when it comes to men, the top five, again, like most beautiful country, according to beautifulpeople.com, uh, Portugal, Italy at four, Denmark at three, Brazil at two. And Nikki, if you had to pick a number one best looking man country, what would you pick? Well, are we going to go to Norway too? Like, it's, is it for male and female? It's Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. 
So a little South America, little Central Europe. Seems to be the the equation for what they feel would be the most beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I can just tell you right now, like, I'm... I'm not Irish man ugly, but... <laughs> well, then they were saying the opposite. So they those were the ones with beautiful people, but then this thing was saying, well, here's the least beautiful people come from these two countries. Oh. So they were saying Ireland for men and Germany for women. That's right. For this site. So it doesn't mean that you, like, you could buck the well, trend. Well, I bet every, you guys you are all the exception. You good-looking Irish guy. They have one. So that's but, not the case. There's tons of beautiful people from there. Carl says the Vikings didn't abduct the ugly ones. <laughs> they take them. Oh, no, you know, could be Nikki. <laughs> could be. So this, like we said, was not well received when the uh, news about Ireland and Germany came out. Listen, and they don't believe that. I'll just tell you right now. I know that if we got together, let's just say all the radio people. We're not the good looking people, by the way. You don't go into radio because you look so good. You don't have to worry about it. You and just live your life not worrying about your looks. You can be ugly because of your personality, too. It's great. So As long can, as you have a good personality and a good voice, you're fine. If they got the whole industry together, I feel like I'm probably in the meaty part of the curve, which is the bottom part of the curve already but i'm in the meaty part of the bottom part of the curve that's where you would be it's fine (laughs) like i'm not at the end and i'm you know what i'm slowly but surely getting at peace with it but you don't have to worry about it because again you're in radio it's just fine i'm looking forward to being old do you ever notice how old people you don't even wonder if they're attractive you're just like oh they're old that's when i'm gonna shine you want to have a freedom when you get to that age that's when i'm gonna shine i'll just be old and i'll be it'll just be like what he's old it doesn't matter he's old what do you expect him to look like he's old okay, so well, until then <laughs> you just gotta still live your life each day until then i feel like i'm in the meaty part of the bottom half of the curve You're not a fail. Welcome to radio. You're not a failing grade. I mean, like you wouldn't avert your eyes when you saw me, but I'll just tell you this. Like when you walk away and I'm like behind you, you know that temptation sometimes you have to look back because you want (laughs) to see them again. First off, like you're not going to have that temptation. Stop doing that because you talk yourself down so much. So when people meet you, they're generally surprised that you're not, you don't look like this. Yes. I just told you, you're not going to be tempted to look back. You're not going to avert your eyes. But when you walk past, you won't be like, gosh, I would love another peek. Just a a look. He's not. This is not how it is. Just for a minute. Nope. Meaty part, the bottom half. No. Meaty part. No. Mm, gosh, meaty. We're going for burgers for lunch. I'm starving. <laughs> the riot. Not, Not everyone's, everyone's fan. I wonder whose idea this was. Radio U. You know what? I've kind of decided that I'm not going to get a PlayStation 5. Oh, wait. Um, now, how did we just change? <laughs> I thought you were just going to get one. I know. Now, I know. I now was. one song plays and now we're changing. Oh, you know what? I changed my mind, Nikki, because there are there were two times this morning. There was uh, the pre-announcement and the post-announcement, and we're living in a post-announcement world right now, okay? Uh, it looks like we, within like a few days, oh, no, uh, it'll be in April, uh, we're going to get a chance to see Cadillac's first all-electric car. Oh. So I'm going to take the $200 that I've saved for my <laughs> PlayStation 5. And put it towards and the I'm Cadillac And I'm going to switch fund? that over to my electric Cadillac file. I am going to be honest with you. Go ahead. You know what? I don't want lies. And no more lies, Nikki. I don't think you need to worry about the Cadillac right now. Maybe the PlayStation will... Take care of whatever your the needs are right now okay. for something fun, and you okay. can use that, and maybe we'll just hold on the Cadillac. But, Nikki, this Cadillac will be good for the environment. You're not paying—this won't even take a tiny portion of it. I'm sure this is expensive. So, well, okay, but here's what I'm thinking, though, is that if I keep putting money in that envelope— <laughs> You're not going to get enough. You know, and I can get there. You'll be dead and you still won't have enough. They unveil it in April. Probably won't be out till like, later this fall. (laughs) I bet by Christmas you'll have plenty. I'll probably have enough money to get it. Nope, 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 (laughs) nope. You know, you're being real negative over there. Well, why don't you try for another... well, first off, you're not. I didn't think you were in the market for a car. Well, I wasn't. And we're not being until negative. I saw this we're being concept a realist art. about this. I, this concept art that I'm seeing, they say it's a crossover vehicle. So think like HRV, CRV, no, RAV4. No, this, <laughs> this is not that. Isn't it? Well, what is it supposed to look like? Is that not like, is that drawing up there? Isn't that? Well, I'm not seeing a drawing. 
it's they say it's a mid-size electric crossover. Mm-hmm. That's you, you right. Want that? That's right in the meaty part of where I'm at. It's going to be their first all electric vehicle. See, I'm pulling up the article that is about the 200 or 90 ton dump truck. That's no, 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 they no. That's do. a different one. That's I know. A different so one. where's the GMC one? Well, or... they, Nikki, see, I, I just found out about this, this okay. Cadillac thing. I did. I Nikki's right. We have an article about the largest electric vehicle. I was in the looking world. at that like that's just you can't even pull that into the parking lot here. No, no, no. But this right here, you know, you pull up and you don't hear me coming because it's electric. Because <laughs> it's quiet. Ooh, it does look nice. See? Oh, this makes more sense. And Nikki, how about this? What if everybody, like my friends and family, whatever they were going to give me for my birthday and Christmas, they just give it all to me and then we'll put that in the envelope. It's very sleek looking. It's and, it's beautiful. All right. So there's a thought. No, probably not. Okay. <laughs> probably not. All right. <laughs> But it's don't just, lose the dream. I mean, you want to keep the dream okay. alive. Keep the dream alive. It just might not be a obtainable dream right now. You know what? This one's for the dreamers. Is there any uh, pricing <laughs> on it? or? Uh, no, which is why I feel like I still may have a chance. Before no, that's they announce, worse. Before they announce the price, maybe I can get in and make an offer. <laughs> it's a good looking car. That is something. And we found out that I'm in the bottom, the meaty part of the bottom half. So that car can only help me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It'll just increase how you present yourself to others. That's right. You can't help what you have, but you can help how you present what you have. (laughs) This is the Worst of the Riot podcast. Tomorrow night, Lego Masters is on Fox. Has anybody watched it yet? I have a couple episodes. Like, I think there's two in that you can watch. But DVR'd them. I'm curious to actually watch it. Okay. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't know. Like... I, I'm in, I'm do you more... even know what they do? I'm just watching the trailer for it repeat over and over again. <laughs> so you haven't actually watched any other so clips. It's got, uh, what's his name? Will the voice Arnett. Of, Will Arnett, the voice of Lego Batman. Uh huh. I can't tell if it's just a, you have all these Legos and you have a, um, you know, like, they're like, okay, create an outdoor set or something. And then you just create whatever you want. And I then you're judged based on that. I guess. It's a competition. It is a competition. Does the idea of watching people build Legos sound like fun? That's what I haven't decided yet. I'm waiting for someone else to tell me if they've seen the Lego TV show and if it's worth watching. A lot of people do like that. I I know somebody that quit their job because their Lego YouTube channel was so successful. Is this the new like gaming? I'm just like, you know what? Why did I even bother? (laughs) Why? (laughs) Why have a career? Why? Why? Like, Why? (laughs) Uh, so that's, I mean, it's a thing. People like watching people build Legos, et cetera, et cetera. So there you got it. I like building Legos until I'm like maybe 50 pieces in. And then you realize, well, we've made a commitment. We have a lot more to go and we I need to finish it all. You know, what my problem is with Legos is that I don't like the end result that much. Uh, meaning well, that there's I, not, you're not going to play with it or there's well, what I'm else not gonna is play there with to it, do. And I don't like, I, I, my I'm sorry if you love Legos. I I know it's me. It's not you. I have the problem. (laughs) Uh, But like when it's completed. So like, let's say I build the Millennium Falcon, which is like this $800 Lego set or whatever. When it's done, I don't like the way it looks. I like it doesn't. I would rather build a model that looks like an more of like an exact replica. Uh, And I feel like it's the same skill set and it takes the same amount of time. So it's like, well, I think model stuff sounds harder than Legos. Mm, I don't. I like maybe like if you want to paint it correctly, that's where I'm just like I can't. Well, I just James, started buying toys instead of building the model. James says Lego shows awesome. He watches it on Hulu. Katie says it's a really good show. They have a theme to build around. Okay, and Will Arnett makes it really funny. And Lisa says I like the show and I don't even like Legos. And then Charles in Alabama, he loves the Lego show. All right, Nikki. hey, pretty good guys. That's I'm I mean, we've gotten all positive so far. Does it mean I'll watch it? Or have I felt enough about it like I've already watched it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see. Do you feel you feel like that's good enough? Uh, No, I, I actually do. I do think I want to watch it. Okay, sure. So Jacob says Kobe is better than Lego. Look it up. Kobe? C-O-B-I? Yeah. Well, um, takes a while. <laughs> You're just like, well, we, we didn't have to do it Kobe all together. Kobe Blocks, the largest manufacturer of construction blocks in Central and Eastern Europe. Um, I don't think these look as cool, bro. <laughs> but we could all have our own opinion. We could all have our own opinion. Looks just like Legos, though, right? 
It looks like it is a Polish toy company. Okay. Oh, don't. don't Are you going to say something? What are you going to say? What are you going to say? It looks like in communist Russia, they were like, we have who need Legos. We have Kobe's. So there's no there's so no that's license. That's a no for you. There's no license no blocks. Okay. No, nothing. So, uh, all right. You know, well, thanks that. everybody for telling me about the Lego show. I hate myself. It's oh. fine. So don't be don't be too mad at me for being honest about the blocks that I saw. Speaking of blocks, communist block, right? It's a kind of, just sorry. stop. The riot. Just because it's bad doesn't mean it's not good. Wait. Isn't that exactly what it means? It's the riot on Radio U. We need some more coffee in here. Is that what you want? Yeah, we need some more coffee and some soda. Okay. So are you thirsty? Because that could be a sign of de like, are you dehydrated? I must be. Is dehydrated. that what it is? <laughs> hey, let's drink this peasant's drink. I know you drink a lot of water, but what if you're you find out your body's like, no, no, you have to have twice as much as the average person. That's right. He has a very rare disorder. <laughs> That's could. why he's always drinking something. You don't even know. You do not even know. <laughs> Let me read you my favorite headline of the entire day. You ready? Mm-hmm. Florida man gets naked to escape. Ribeyes fall out of his pants. <laughs> is he stealing something? Is this what is this what we're getting? Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, he's a shoplifter. He went to a, a Deland store, which I think is a grocery store uh, in Florida, and uh, <laughs> the police tried to uh, to grab him. Yeah, and so what he ended up doing was. Uh, he stripped his clothes off, and all of the steaks he was stealing oh, like, came out. stripped out. Yeah. So I guess the idea was like, here, take the steaks. I'm leaving. Well, this way, can you catch him? Or is that enough of a distraction? <laughs> what? Well, I'll just, I think we've said this before. I can tell you this right now. Like, let's say that I'm being a good citizen, and I want to help you catch the bad man, and I could run out and grab him so you wouldn't have to run after him. If he doesn't have his clothes on, you're on your own. You can go after him if you want, but you're I'm saying You're completely put. on your own. Like, I think I that's what the person's, the person's banking on that. He expects to now of you know have a better chance to get away. No, see, my problem is this. Okay, have you guys ever tried to take your pants off, but your shoes are still on? <laughs> So you just take them around the shoes? Do you know how hard that is? So, I mean, like, do you kick your shoes off and then take your pants off? Do you strip <laughs> your shoes, like, you're trying to get your pants over your shoes, but then you end up either, one, you know, you're doing, like, a half jog because yeah. your pants are just around your ankles, or, you know. Maybe uh, that's why there's a new challenge that's been going around where you're supposed to jump up in the air and take your pants off in, in the jump Oh, I can't do that. Well, that's the challenge part of it. So I maybe do. that's to get everybody to practice in case you're running away. I I have a lack of flexibility due to extra padding, and I just don't. <laughs> I don't. Think. And if you had the shoes on, then it'd be even harder. But this is the thing: a lot of people try to steal uh, meat from stores. Yeah. In just in their pants. <laughs> just in their pants. We're talking like racks of ribs, like. Steaks galore. All right. You can see a lot of well, videos know, of people who get okay. caught with that. Nikki, it's expensive. You know? Like, <laughs> Good meat is. It's expensive. If you're trying to be keto or you're trying to have a diet, it's not expensive to live a carb lifestyle. I'm just talking. <laughs> and that's part of the problem in this that's country. Part of the okay? Problem. That's part of the problem. Because you can't they be healthy. Eat. That's right. They got it stacked against us. So in order for us to be healthy, we have to steal. You have to steal. It is, uh, it's the problem and it's not your fault. It's someone else's fault. I love the idea that this is like the reverse of Lay Miz somehow. It's like he didn't go to jail for stealing bread. Bread's cheap. <laughs> Anyone can steal. Bread. No one wants that. Now you want some good quality meat. If we're stealing meat, and that's why we're in jail. You do what what you need to to have done in order to make it. Uh, well, just to let you know, uh, he did manage to get his pants off, and he did start running again. And the police were just like, "I got this." Oh, they tased him. Don't tase me, bro. They tased him. The Riot Podcast Radio. You. I think it would be weird if something like this actually could happen today in like these day and ages because it feels like as far as i'm concerned like the united states is just the way it is and there's no changing it <laughs> but is it possible can you do this there, there i mean are, california's talked about it for quite some time but nothing's ever actually happened from it there are two counties 
in Oregon that want to leave Oregon and join Idaho. Mm-hmm. The, they for wanna, the greater Idaho. They want to leave the state of Oregon and become a part of The greater Idaho. good. Shut it. So they're basically saying how in Oregon you get a lot of people um, in one little area. <laughs> Well, I can no. I this and is, then the rest are spread out, and they're few and far between. It's fascinating to me. At one time, I was I have family in Oregon, though I've never lived there, and so I was in the car just like scanning through the stations, and I stopped at a local talk radio station in like the middle of Oregon, mm-hmm. and I was like, "What? What do you talk about in the middle of Oregon? Like, what's what's their concern here in the high desert? Is it how much you hate Portland?" It, yes. Kind of. It was them talking about how frustrated they felt because basically if you live anywhere other than Portland and Oregon, you have no control over anything. You can't. Um, there's not enough people to vote anything nothing. for change for something that you, do, you that rest of the state might agree with. Seventy percent of the population is in Portland and the surrounding areas. And then the rest of the state mm-hmm. is about 30% of the population, which is not enough to do anything. And so Aww. Christy's they, from the middle of Oregon. Hi, Christy. Hi, Christy. They feel disenfranchised. Yeah. And so that is what some of these states want to do. They're just like, look, Go to we, Idaho. we literally can't <laughs> do anything. And so we want to join a different state. So is that actually possible? Can you do Wouldn't that? Wouldn't that be weird? Did they let you? Because I'll just be honest, the last time somebody tried to leave something, it was like all guns and stuff. Well, I don't. Well, that was part of the thing. They were they were talking about how gun control and this and that, that Portland is to left side and and they just can't. For the rest of Oregon, it leans more towards the right side. I will tell you, I could see how your idea towards guns would be different if you lived in Portland than some of the places I've visited in Oregon. You're like, or you um, might you might want to have one. <laughs> we should probably have a gun. You said something for safety. <laughs> we should also have a we should also have a way to purify water. <laughs> Yes, so, those so like, things too. <laughs> it's a, like you a lot of variety mm-hmm. in that state, so, so I get that. Looking at the map was also super weird to see what is it the greater the they greater be, Idaho that like this particular one is called Greater Idaho, but that's that's actually part of a. That's not just these people. That's a whole group of people that want to do that. Mm-hmm. But then you've also got just these two counties that have kind of started the process that they want to do as we're looking uh because someone just something about west virginia but it looks like maybe if you go to each state maybe there's a group of people in almost every state that want to if your state has a larger population focus in certain parts that it seems like this is not uncommon that is kind of where west virginia came from uh was it i don't know do it again it's fascinating (laughs) but the difference here being like they don't want to establish their own state no they want this one they just want to join the neighboring state so like they would become part of idaho not part of oregon it's fascinating so i guess that is different than some of the others where they 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 want to establish something new right they're just like hey we're like okay we're not in this neighborhood anymore we're in that neighborhood we're moving over there okay for the greater of idaho (laughs) because we don't like y'all Okay? Like, no offense, but real talk. The worst of the riot is over, but the fun can keep going. Hey, I saw you checking out my goods. Check the riot blog or stalk us on social media. You want to sample them? A little try before you buy them? Through riot.radiou.com. What does it mean to be a duck? Search your heart. <laughs> <laughs> 